Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is War Train here. If you're new, do me a favor, please subscribe and click that notification bell down below so you can get notified of all my new videos. And if you enjoy this video, guys, please give me a like. I'd really appreciate it and you definitely help out the channel. But with that said, today's video, we're gonna check out something truly awesome. Um, this is called the Super 64. It's made by Ian. And if you never heard of Ian, they actually make the Mark II. And what this thing is, is a GameCube HDMI adapter. And I have it right here. It looks like this out of the box. The box is pretty cool. It actually looks like a mini GameCube. <laughs> so pretty awesome little thing. But this thing is definitely expensive. $150 is what this retails for. And what this does is it actually plugs into the back of an original GameCube. Now, you need the original model, which is the 101, because it has a digital video output as, log, or as well as an analog AV output. So, uh, the old, like the, I guess it would be the newer models, um, not the original one, they don't have the digital um, output anymore. So you definitely need the original model, the 101 with the digital video out. So this thing actually plugs into there and using the digital video out, it actually um, gives you the option to use an HDMI cable and plug this into a modern display. And it also utilizes the AV output where you can actually use, like if you have Wii um, component cables, you can use them in there as well. And you can actually use them simultaneously to hook up two monitors, which is pretty awesome stuff. And um, the reason to have this thing is because originally the 101 actually had the digital video um, or the digital AV out uh, for a, basically um, like HD component cables and the problem is they didn't keep making them so they're pretty uh, rare that well they're super expensive they go for like three to four maybe even more than 400 on eBay they're absolutely crazy um, so if you don't want to pay some insane amount to have you know the best picture quality on original hardware um, you get a Mark II or something like it. I know there is actually another competitor. I forget the name of it, but it it basically does the same kind of thing, but it doesn't give you as many options as this does. This thing gives you the most options, but it is priced accordingly, and that's why it cost $150. And um, this thing actually has a user interfa interface built into it. So you can hook up a universal remote and actually control in here, uh, control it on your screen, the uh, interface, and go through it. And um, I can't remember, I think you can possibly add scan lines, but I know there's like line doubling and um, you, know, you can tweak all kinds of different settings in here. So pretty awesome stuff. So you can customize your picture to whatever suits your needs or whatever uh, you like visually the best. Um, but I don't do a whole lot uh, like programming this thing. It's pretty much, I have it set up fairly basic and I'm very happy with the way that it looks. The colors pop on the screen. And let me tell you, for these consoles, if you were to put them on an HD TV, uh, they're they're washed out looking. So it cleans up the picture and it makes the colors nice and vibrant, which is awesome. And some of the games actually utilized 480p on the GameCube, so it'll go right to it. But um, you can also simulate that with like the line doubling and that kind of stuff. So pretty cool feature for the Mark II here. But um, th that this company, Ian, is the one that makes this for the uh, Nintendo 64. And as you can see in the picture, you have that uh, same little um, symbol there, which just like on the Mark II, that's a light. Uh, when this uh, GameCube is powered on, and it'll be the same for the Nintendo 64, when it's powered on, it gets the power from the system. So you don't actually have to plug this thing in separately to an outlet, which is awesome. Um, and that even says that down here, they, they have a uh, Twitter uh, post here and it has a description, um, N64 S-Video scaled to 480p. 
lagless input, which is true. There's no real lag on this thing. It works awesome. I definitely have no complaints. Um, custom design. Uh, this thing definitely is custom designed for the Nintendo 64. You can see it's like the same color plastic and it has uh, little vents that almost mimic the vents that are by the uh, cartridge, uh, cartridge flaps there where you put the cartridge in. Um, there's those little vent holes and it looks like it's imitating that and kind of the design and who knows maybe they'll have some like fantastic colors and stuff for people that have like different color uh, Nintendo 64s and stuff which would be awesome I mean they do it for the GameCube because there's different colors I just got I have like this blue or indigo whatever you call this one and the the, the Mark II uh, that I have is meant to almost be like the same exact color so pretty cool stuff um, you could also get it in black or whatever if the, you have a black gamecube so i imagine this thing maybe not at launch but eventually will have different colors so um, you got a standard hdmi output pretty common hdmi but you could use an m cable which is an awesome hdmi cable that has a chip in it those are a little pricey as well i forget what they uh cost i think they're probably upwards of like a hundred dollars they're expensive but what they do is they have a chip inside that actually offers extra anti-aliasing so you can actually help get rid of some of them jaggy edges which is fantastic for this kind of stuff and you you, you might want to if you if you get this you might want to just throw that on top of it because it definitely isn't going to hurt it it's going to make the picture look probably that much better and this thing also has a slick mode which is for more polished visuals and we'll show i'll show you this video they have attached to it and in this video they show the uh the polished visuals man they look good it smooths it out it just it looks great um and no mods or external power required seriously and this is true uh just like the mark ii it's powered directly off the system which is absolutely awesome when it is the, the the system's powered on that light comes on then you know you're good to go and and if it don't come on either you need to push that thing in a little harder or uh something's wrong so <laughs> definitely a good indicator but let's check out this uh video and see what they show here But yeah, cool stuff. And you get up to 480p, which is progressive scan. And if you don't know what pro progressive scan is, um, there's interlaced and there's progressive scan. And interlaced is, uh, think of um, basically like odds and evens as far as the scan lines. And they uh, flicker on and off. So you might get, say, the odds are displayed while the evens are shut off. And then the evens come on and the odds are shut off. And it does that super fast. So that's how you get your picture. Now, in progressive scan, you get all of those scan lines all at once, creating a better picture. That's just an easier way to understand what uh, interlaced versus progressive scan uh, is. But you can see there the thing is lit on. That's how you know it's going. You could check your um, info on your TV, and that's it'll tell you 480p. Then you know you, you're getting that progressive scan. And they're showing these games like Nintendo or uh, Mario 64 because they're cartoony. The colors pop, and that's the thing you're going to get super vibrant colors on uh, on uh, one of these Ian devices. So pretty awesome stuff. If you can't tell, I'm pretty excited that this thing has uh, been announced. And it's actually releasing July 22nd. So uh, I'm definitely on board for this. And right there you can see the uh, that po like polished thing I was talking about. Um, let's see. Let me pause it here. And I'll jump back and kind of show you the difference. So they do like a comparison. And you can really tell. All right. So here's with... Well, here's without it, okay? So you can see there's jagged edges all over the place, on the four, on the star, all over Mario's face, right? So let's start uh, slowly trying to implement that in. Well, now this is where it's fully in, on. So you can see it's totally smoothed over. And yeah, I mean, it is a little blurry. You're going to get that because they are trying to smooth it over. But still, if that bothers you, then... Or if it bothers you having those jagged edges real bad, I mean, this is definitely a pretty good option for you. 
Um, because especially if you add, like, like I said, the M cable on top of this thing, I mean, it's really going to help with that. And it's probably, it may even make this look even better than what they're showing here. Cause right here, they're probably using a standard HDMI cable. I mean, um, jagged edges smoothed out. So I, in my opinion, it's almost night and day. Um, you know, you do get more of a clarity there, but you're getting a lot of jagged edges, but that's also zoomed in. So now here they zoom it out. Now look at that. That looks absolutely uh, gorgeous for a Nintendo 64 game. And I think they could have used even a different game to really show this off better. But unfortunately, they just use like a Mario Party, which is fine. But awesome stuff, guys. Absolutely awesome stuff. So, like I said, this thing comes out July 22nd, and as of right now, there's no way to play um, your Nintendo 64 in HD like this. Um, there's uh, Retrobit has announced that they're working on a clone console for Nintendo 64 to play that in HD, but that does not uh, like have a release date yet or anything. So, currently, this is the first of its kind, so you could emulate this stuff, but N64 emulation is tough. It doesn't work on all the games. This is something you could put on multiple systems, probably be utilized for the whole um, uh, library of games. If, if not all of them, probably really close to all of them, but definitely something cool and a first of its kind. I'm sure there's going to be more things to come, but definitely cool for the Nintendo 64 uh, retro scene here. And uh, especially to uh, have original hardware on modern uh, displays. Because, I mean, I like playing on original hardware, but it definitely hurts it when they're all blurred out and just drained, uh, you know, the colors are drained out. Um, I actually currently have my Nintendo 64 on a CRT TV because that's what it was made for and it gets a better picture. I put it on my big TV behind me. It's super uh, just blurry and um, just washed out and just the jagged edges are awful especially on a such a big tv that's a 75 inch so it just ex blows up all the flaws and doesn't look very good so i'm interested in getting this guy because i think it's going to make my nintendo 64 look a lot better but what do you guys think let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i'm really interested in what you guys think about something like this uh, do you think this is cool? Are you fans of the Nintendo 64? And do you want to be able to play original N64 games on a modern display and have them look as good as they can? But that's the video, guys. Uh, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. I try to put content out like this every day, if possible, if time allows, really. Uh, but <laughs> I try my hardest. And, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. And... Um, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. I really uh, appreciate it. But that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm the War Train, and I'm out. Have a good one.